Hey you, and welcome back to the Sims Island Paradise. Now, this is a new family. You guys haven't met them yet. These are the Smexy girls, because they're, they're really, really Smexy and all those good things. Um, I have, how many do we have here? We've got four, so we get seven ladies here. Now, I put these girls here for the express purpose of making things interesting, okay? Because you can't have an island without a lot of scantily clad women running around, right? It just seems like the thing. I am going to put the walls up here so you have a better idea of what the house is actually going to look like. And this is a girly house. I mean, we've got, it's pink. No, it has got a thatched cottage because I, or a thatched roof because I love them. So we have one. And it's a cute little place. Obviously, you know, it's, it looks like it was decorated by girls, kind of. We have lots of pink. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of pink. It kind of hurt my face making this one, but it, it came out nice. You know, it, it, it's soft, it's sweet, it's kind of pleasant. I like the brown and the pink. I, the, those colors worked really well for me. So who do we have here? We have, no, no, no. This is uh, who we have. Lisa. Lisa Smexy. She wants, to, well, she just wants to have a lot of money. And apparently she's already got that because I needed a lot of money to build this place. Darn, it was, it was pricey. So, who do else do we have? This lady is Gwenna. Now, we met Gwenna, I think, briefly at the park, didn't we? She was over at the park. And Gwenna, 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 blah, blah. Gwenna is a little bit of a cowgirl, as you can see from the hat. Uh, she wants to be, oh, perfect mind, perfect body. Yo, yeah, you got it. She's got this together. I like that. Oh, who do we have here? We have... Tanny and Tanny is I believe right up here so there's Tanny wandering around in her little undies but you know a bunch of girls they would do this right yeah see this boy Gwenna is just muscles. perfect body this girl knows it she knows what she wants and Elspeth just walked by here and where did she get off to Elspeth hello oh she went upstairs Oh, they have so much in common. They'd love to get to know you better. That is so sweet of them. Okay, here's Elspeth. Elspeth likes horses, I think, probably. It seems like a good guess. <laughs> is this her room? This is not her room. She's just on somebody else's bed. Um, let's see, her favorite color is blue. So I am going to have her in a room that is blue. Now, Elspeth, I get a feeling this is hers. She wants to, inventing, painting, sculpting. I believe this is Elspeth's room over here. It's kind of artsy, a little eclectic. She's an artist and inventor, okay? I figured it's got to make you just a little bit strange. Oh, and she's a bit of a slob. Oops, okay, then that'll go fun with some of the other girls. Megs, where is Meg? Megs, not Megs, Megs. Megs likes red. Red hair, red clothing, red fun things, lots. Flirty, avant-garde, hopelessly romantic, artistic, and a computer whiz. Navi boys, look out. This girl is going to be a problem. Just warning you, you get your practice time in while you can. Because once she shows up, I think your life's going to get all messed up. <laughs> and she likes red, so we must have a red room. Here we go, a red room for Mags. Oh, she, uh, see, the hopeless romantic. We have a Victorian bride, the canopied bed, gone with the wind, the tragic love story. Oh, yes, of course. Um, lots of little red, yeah, this is the hopeless romantic. This is definitely Meg's room. And there she's, yeah, this has almost got to be hers there. Let's see, Gwenna. Gwenna was the bit of a cowgirl. She likes brown. Well, this room is brown, but don't we have another? Yes, no, this one. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know what room I put her in. Athletic, easily impressed. I don't know. This room is really seriously neutral, isn't it? Belinda likes gray or silver or whatever that is, and I think this is her room right here, very quiet and modern and zen. And just that one flash of color to keep it awake. I like that. Ooh, Jordan, rebellious, disciplined. Oh, she likes brown too. So would this be her room or the one up 
upstairs. I don't know. I have assigned these beds at some point. Um, hmm. You would think whoever had this room would have equestrian in there, right? How did I miss that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. <laughs> so this girl likes pink. Maybe she's the one that decorated the house. Good old Lisa. Probably the one who decorated the house. And, oh, that's her room. Little pink. See, she's flirty and she likes pink. So here we go. Total pink. So I had tried to make, you know, every room very distinctive, you know, very much about, oh, she likes yellow, so I'm guessing this is her room. I tried to make everyone, you know, very specific in terms of style, and oh my god, do we need a painting over that bed, or what? We need something. That's so not finished in my world. So we have a big open area here. Uh, oh, good. Oh, you know what? Sweetie, you're going to call the help. I am not having anybody repair anything ever again. <laughs> it's just too scary. <laughs> we need, actually, we need to call the services of, um, I'm assuming this is a repairman, if we have that much water all over. Um, hello, where did you go, sweetie? Oh, she's showering, okay. And then we need to call for a butler or maid to live in. I do have a room. Uh, put over here upstairs just a little quiet neutral room where we can tuck in the hired help you know because these girls are just not going to have time for a lot of um, repairman call they're not going to have time for a whole lot of uh, domestic activities they have careers and plans and men and women to flirt with <laughs> so you betcha and we need to call for a do we have we already called I don't want a maid I want oh scroll further butler here we go call for a butler so the room this is a patio out here for all this exercise you know we got this athletic stuff kicking around some of the girls are artsy they've obviously been at work already here or something um, over here in the we've got some places for the people who are interested in sculpture we don't have one of them want to be inventor we need a place to put an inventing thing so we may have to re, you know move some things around the cowgirl likes her little ball because you know that's fun so there are the rooms we have the very artsy eclectic kind of strange thing here the red romantic the cowgirl here um, yellow the pink room very soft. I'll show you that in a second. We've got the brown room. We've got girls making friends. We've got a very modern room over here. In the actual house itself, when you come in, hello, had a big old pause there, didn't we? You come in the front door. Um, there is just a little seating area here. The stairs going up, obviously. The dining room just sits right there. There is a hallway back here with some bits and bobs, and that goes outside. There is a little area right here. Now, this is my room. I love this room. And not the big picture on the wall behind the sofa so much, but for the rest of this, this is totally me. I love this. It's quiet, the browns, the classic sort of photos, plants, flowers, big oriental rub, 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 rug. <laughs> um, the, 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 the soft, you know, kind of, colors the, the classic colors in the the seating and you know the old-fashioned styles to things with a you know very clean sort of modern yeah you know you got that little bit of mix going on there is still some pink in here but in this with the browns in these taupey colors i love it this i probably wouldn't have put there but i do love the trees so you know it, it's good it's fine right it's okay but the rest of this, I love this room. This room just makes me happy. Of course, I like all of them. I mean, I made all of them, right? Love the floor in this house. Oh my God, I just noticed it again. This is like my favorite floor ever in this game. Absolutely. These girls should spend a lot of time in their underwear, don't they? We has a butler. Okay, let, what's his name? Who do we have? What's your name? Don't, 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 don't go. 
Where are you? I want to see your name. Who do we have here? Terrence. Well, that's a great name for Butler. I love it. That is so perfect. So this bed will be the Butler's. That is your room from now on there, Sunshine. And then upstairs we have a little landing, of course, when you come up the stairs. We've just got a few bits and bobs and then the bedrooms going off uh, off each of those rooms. Oh, get to know you better. And then we have a toilet up here. Oh, he's fixing all kinds. What, she's trying to chew him out? Oh, okay. Oh, he's cute. Look at this. The repairman's kind of nice, and you're shooing him away. Are you sure you want to make that choice? And then we have a toilet down here as well. I just use these all-terrain toilets. My God, they're so much faster. They free up so much time in the game. And I thought, you know, to put in a, an individual toilet for, you know, washroom for each of these girls would just be, like, more than I wanted to deal with. So... So there we have the Smexy girls, and they do spend a lot of time in their underwear, don't they? Okay, let's like Gwenna. She's all about the perfect mind and body, right? Let's go play Easy Rider. Got to work up to Crazy Cowgirl. <laughs> okay, that poor little cow looks slightly stunned, doesn't he? He needs a name. We need a name for the cow. Come on, you gotta name the cow. She's gonna do this in her underwear. These girls just live in their undies. Well, that'll cause some interest on the island, I dare say. <laughs> she makes it look fun. <laughs> I hope that's the athletic skill that's going up with this. Oh, and with those horns up there, you, they need like corks on the end or something. It looks like you could kill yourself with this thing. <clears throat> oh, look at this girl. Oh, yeah. She's a miss, miss athlete here. Okay, let's go crazy cowgirl. <laughs> let's see what we get. Oh, yeah. Her athletic skill just went up to four. Oh, no, that's Gwenna. Um, so... What's this one doing? Where is she? Uh, right here? There's Jordan. Where's Jordan? Let's go see what Jordan... Oh, Jar Jordan's just working out. She's just in the house. Look at her. Well, isn't that just cute? In her athletic... And she's just going for it. I love this when they, they just... Oh, put on graduation robes. Oh, yeah. So where are the rest of the girls? Tanny, where are you? Tanny is reading a book. What does Tanny want to do for a living? Oh, she wants to get in the film track career, directing branch. All right, let's go. Um, Tanny, you are the yellow girl, right? So your room, I believe, is right here. And somebody's on your computer. Okay, well, then we'll just borrow somebody else's. So let's look for jobs, jobs and professions. Find, a, is that a job or a profession? Um, directing. That's probably a job. All the world is sculptor's canvas. Will it be clay or ice? So we have somebody over here working away. Um, yeah, that's that's clearly beautiful. That is so nice. I mean, we must all want one of these, right? <laughs> Okay, um, continue, continue. Okay, we have to, what do we have? Medical, you want to be in art direction, law enforcement, science, military, political, medical, that's it. No, we don't want any of these. Okay, we'll have to look another day. You need to finish because you, and what do you like to do, sweetheart? Great kisser, she's just, you know, she said, I just want to flirt <laughs> and have fun. Oh, okay, so, oh, I, there's, yeah, she's going to be trouble. I like it because she's even irresistible. Oh, yeah. And she has, like, no particular, well, she's a computer is a little eccentric, so that would be good for inventing. I need that inventing thing because there's two of them that might be interested in playing around with one invention or another. So let's take these and do what with them? Um, 
maybe if we tuck them in like this a little bit. Oh, we got some kind of lights here. Slide that back there. If we put these along like this, and we have coolers, because you never know when you're going to need a cooler. You know what? I'll just put this over here. I don't know how big these inventing things are. I've got a feeling they're like probably horrible. Big, huge, like the sculpting things, right? What do they look like? Alchemy. DJ. Scrapatonic workbench. Is this it? Inventing and handiness. Well, that's kind of nice. And it is big and ugly. It's big and ugly. Now we have... I put a gate over here. Thinking, you know what? I'm going to put the gate over here. There we go. Solved. Just like that. Um... Because I was thinking, you know, that it'd be easy to walk down to the beach from here. So I just wanted to put a gate, you know, easy to get to. There we go. So you're eccentric. You can't be thinking about sex all the time. So go dabble. Just dabble. Um, what? You're <laughs> from? <laughs> oh, look at her zoom in on that thing. It's like, yeah look at this she's working it I like it anyway so there's our first day and night with the Smexy girls you will be seeing them we've seen a couple in town already they were um, just yep um, <clears throat> we have to get you out of the house for some of your um, relationship girls we can't just have you know seven girls in here because it's an uneven number first of all and you know that's going to be a problem look they're just hanging around and chatting it is such a girl's house i love this they're just doing all the right things this is brilliant i like it i like it they're gonna be fun drop that down see they're just they're hanging around and they're talking oh my gosh she's a busty one isn't she we got some thin girls and some muscular girls she's just a little skinny one she's cute yeah, which one is this? Belinda. Belinda's just a little thin girl. She's just a big old girl in some places. And apparently not all is well in paradise. They are not all getting along. And they're in their underwear constantly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Really, ladies? I mean, really, ladies? <laughs> okay, anyway... We're going to leave them for the evening, and um, there, there's the new girls in town with their nice, cute butler. Oh, he's a doll. I love the butlers with the little monocles. They're so cute. So one more house that you've been introduced to, and I think we need to go check on our politicians now. So that's coming up next. So until I see you next time, have a good time. Hit like, hit subscribe, leave your comments, and please live your life happy and build it beautiful. Bye-bye.